I've arrived in Spain. The airport was so grim though. This wilderness being very loud. Everything was closed, so I had to go to like the nearest town to sit down and get food while I wait for my mom to arrive and for my uncle to pick us up. But of course, the first thing I ordered, aceitunas that are so fucking good. They give me an entire can, basically. Yum. I'm so hungry. All right, we are unpacked guys unpacked and settled um we're staying at my uncle's place because my grandma is obviously a grandmother and um until we get tested i don't think it'll be safe to stay with her and even then i don't really think we should stay with her regardless so she lives in the town next door so it is honestly not a problem um so i stayed here my mom went to go see her socially distant of course um, but my mom brought me a bunch of goods that I forgot in Toronto or that got shipped to me while I was in the UK and I think I have a haul for you guys like basically we have this amazing all these lioness pieces from Princess Polly also really impressed I think these are biodegradable packages so I'm very very happy with that this is actually the one that we used for Lorena ours obviously isn't branded because we're not there yet, but sustainable packaging, decompostable packaging is key. And then we also got these really cute Orem necklaces, which I've been dying to try. And some Lorena uh, samples for some satin scarves that we're making. Good morning, guys. What's good? Oh, with a little bit of a pimple on my face, which isn't the cutest thing. Um, I'm also very tired, I don't know why, it's like 9.30, um, and I'm gonna go get food because there's literally no food in this fridge. My uncle lives here and he has daughters, but when they stay at her mom's, there's nothing, not even lemons. So, what that means for me is that I get to go for a walk, which is honestly great. Um, part of my morning routine. I also had the weirdest dream last night. I had a dream with this guy that like I had sex with a couple times in the past and like he was like full on in my dream and like I liked him in my dream but like in real life I don't like him. Really weird. But anyway, I'm gonna go get some food so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right guys, post workout sweat. Um, I decided to eat breakfast slash lunch now. My mom just asked me if I'd come back to my grandma's for lunch, and I'm like, Mom, I'm not gonna see you until I get the test. Even though I know I'm good, I just wanna be certain. So, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna eat, and then I'm gonna do work today. Maybe this is better. So, I made myself some chia seed pudding, which is just chia with oat milk, oops. And then I put some blueberries in here. Then I got some figs. There never seems to be a shortage of figs in Europe or the UK, which is amazing. Like, look how perfectly ripe these are. Oh, can you guys even see? It's like so. Two of those, and then I got some Greek yogurt. Nothing special, but that. And then some peanut butter. So. That's that, I'm gonna eat this, and then go and just do some more work. Oh, and tan. All right, welcome back. So guys, I've been a little bit less present on my vlog than I thought I would be. Um, today I actually got some news, um, so the vlog is probably gonna change up quite a bit. Uh, so I, got tested for COVID on Friday after flying in from London because I wanted to be safe before seeing my grandmother. And we got the test ba results back this morning um, and it turns out that I've tested positive. So I have had no symptoms, um, which means I am most likely asymptomatic, which is good in a way. Um, it's good that I feel good, I feel healthy, I've been eating well, 
you know, making sure my body's full of nutrients. I've been taking supplements for well over like a long time and I've been taking additional supplements for well over two and a half months now. So my body's in check, which is good. Um, that being said, I have to now self-isolate. So you have to isolate for 10 days. And after 10 days, if no symptoms show up, then you can stop self-isolation. Obviously, this is like the least ideal situation, but it is what it is. So I won't be able to see anyone now for at least six more days because I took the test four days ago. So that means that today would be day four of isolation. Um, and then there'd be another six days if it is 10 days. If not, it's obviously 10 more days after today. So we'll see where the vlog takes its turn. Um, I don't know what I'm going to put out for you guys, what kind of content. But um, once I figure it out, I will be back on here. I also wanted to note that I got tested two weeks ago as well. I've been trying to get tested often as often as possible if I know that I'm being exposed to you know a potential situation or environment where it might not be as safe especially if I'm going to see other people um, in general but also people who are going to be more susceptible to getting it um, my grandma's actually already had COVID but I mean that's besides the point right you can always catch it twice or we don't really know what the details are for this fucking disease so we don't really know the requirements um, and now it's just a matter of I got it so now I have to deal with it so I've been trying to figure out my travel plans for after Spain um, and I know I mentioned all the confusion with the travel ban and etc. I think we finally figured it out. So my friend and I are going to be going to Lake Como for four days, so three nights and then one night in Milan and then after that I'll take a flight to Naples and then Naples to Split and then I'll be on my way. Um, so right now I'm just trying to figure out like where we should stay. So if you have any restaurant recommendations for Lake Como areas to stay in, cause it is a very, you know, it's a mountain area, mountain-esque area. So you kind of need to stay like along the water, but staying in Como Central is a little bit expensive. So, you know, there's neighboring towns that you can get to like either by boat or that are, you know, just along the side of the mountain. Um, or alongside the water at the bottom of the mountain that you can go to so it's really hard to plan things sometimes but what's what I'm fortunate um, about is that in Europe everything is pretty cheap or inexpensive to book to get from one point well to get from one place to another but yeah I've been probably like worrying about this for the past three days so I'm happy to like just get this off my chest today once I book and then we get to go day five of quarantine and not doing so bad i can see my little mask over there next to my sunscreen i haven't even tanned today yet and it's so nice again and i'm ready for it honestly quarantine isn't so bad guys i have the most amazing setup um a least of food and productivity so here i have my lunch which looks so bomb avocado broccoli, cucumber, lettuce, just so fresh. And then I have this amazing salmon that my mom, or not salmon, uh, white, I think it's like sable fish that she made. It's actually her new specialty a few, a couple days ago and there was leftovers. And I'm here about to edit a podcast that's going up in two weeks. Um, so I have to make the edits for that and then just getting everything checked off my to-do list. It honestly could be worse. I am being hyper productive. I just finished my workout. So there's an update for you. And welcome back to my corner. It's uh, day eight. It's day eight. Haven't really done much except for a very regimented routine the past five days. Um, so I just felt like checking in with you guys now would be good because I'm in the mood today and I've basically been tanning every day. So if you've noticed any change in color, that's because I'm tanning. Um, also this swimsuit is by Elise, Elisa Gentil. 
which is a swimsuit company um, from Toronto. She hand makes everything, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, guys, it's been, you know, kind of boring. My family goes to my grandmother's for lunch every day, and I'm stuck here, and I still have no symptoms. So I'm glad, obviously, but just a little under the impression that maybe the test was not right, which is fucked. But, I mean, I guess everything happens for a reason, so... I don't know. Anyway, my lunch for today, I got my mom to go to the grocery store for me since I cannot. Put this under here. Since I can't, um, and fetch me all these things. And because I've had so much extra time, although I've been keeping busy, trying to get a job right now too, um, because I need to secure the bag to have a job lined up for September. Um, because London life is expensive and with all this uncertainty it's important to have something stable and I really want to learn a lot of skills within a company that's more established that I can, you know, really take on um, and apply to Lorena in the long run. So yeah, I've been doing that. So it's been busy. I've been very busy. This salad has cucumber, avocado, tahini. I made a tahini dressing because my mom accidentally got me tahini instead of hummus. But tahini, soy sauce, or tamari, I use tamari, and a bit of olive oil because I didn't have any apple cider vinegar. So good, guys, so good. Um, and then I put some olives, chickpeas, yeah, avocado, that's about it. So, pretty satisfied with this meal. Um, I'm also going to go tan a bit later, get some more color because I didn't really yesterday. And yeah, that's just my little two cents for today, guys. Another day. 2.41, I just did my workout. I did not do my morning routine today because I was just not in the mood. It's Saturday and today is day, today's day 10. So, unfortunately I still can't do anything, but my uncle's girlfriend is an amazing cook and everyone went for lunch there and she lives right next door so she brought me a bit of lasagna and octopus with mashed potatoes, which is literally my fave. So yeah, it's day 10, as I mentioned, and honestly, I'm feeling a little low today. Um, this is the second time that I felt kind of low, and I don't know, I feel like I just wanted to talk about it because I am someone who overthinks a lot, and by having to obviously isolate from everyone and not really get to interact with anyone, my mom like calls me, but I, I don't even want to talk to her because she's just like, how are you feeling? I'm like, I feel perfectly fine. This is annoying. Um, but it just, it just like kind of gets to me and I start overthinking about things that are completely unrelated to this issue and then start doubting myself and feeling like, things are happening for a reason and like I I don't know I just like lower my self-worth basically because I'm like I'm feeling low or I'll start thinking thoughts that are completely unrelated to this situation which is uncontrollable and start thinking about like my work or my career or like my you know audience or like brand deals or like my business and I just get super overwhelmed and feel like I have like zero control and then everything's falling apart. Um, I'll start like doubting myself about things that are going well and then just start going down a rabbit hole that is completely unnecessary and totally self-imposed. Yeah, I just feel like if any of you relate to that, like I think it's a very common thing to do. I think that people, you know, overthink things. I should probably be eating as I talk to you guys. Um, people start overthinking things when they're feeling low and it's completely normal. Mm, wow. This is so good. You guys might love octopus if you watch my other vlogs. Hit me up because this is a key to my heart. I feel like if anyone relates to this, it's completely normal to do this to yourself, but I think something that I'm trying to realize is that I'm doing it to myself. Like this isn't actually happening. It isn't a reality. Obviously this situation is, the quarantine situation is, but 
the feeling like everything's falling apart because it is falling apart that isn't a reality that's just like my thoughts that are kind of taking over because of the environment that i'm in and obviously your environment greatly affects your mental health your you know state of mind so i'm not really having a choice to live in a different environment right now is something that's out of my control and i've been trying to really understand my thoughts and get myself out of ruts by being able to decipher them um and something that's been helping me with that is honestly like just really understanding and like ingraining this <laughs> into my mind into my brain that everything that happens to you is completely out of your control you know the only thing that you can really figure out or the only thing that you can really do is choose how you react so your actions is the only thing you can control you can't control the situation you can only control your actions and that's all like this ba the basis of stoicism so i've been reading this book called the daily stoic which is actually under the camera right now um so i can't show you but i'll link it down below it's just like a mindful practice meditation that you can read every day they have one for every day of the year and it kind of helps me get into this mindset because every morning i encourage myself to read a page or read a couple pages if I'm really inspired or in the mood. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys. Um, if anyone else had to quarantine, tested positive, I feel for you if you didn't. Guys, I don't even know what this is about. This just goes to show how much confusion there is because I'm asymptomatic and I feel totally fine and yeah.